Arizona softball broke a 14 game Pac-12 losing streak on Saturday night. Could they win their first conference series since Arizona State back on March 11th? Cats handed Devin Nets a five zip lead and then Dev let her defense do the work. Or should I say, she let Allie Skaggs at second base do the work. Off the tip, Skaggs stays with it for the out. And then, how about off another tip, this time from Carly Scoopin, the deflection, Skaggs again, throwing the gloves at him. Allie and the Cats having fun. Allie Cats, yeah, out there on an ice-breakingly hot day. Fans doing whatever they could to stay cool. And then Allie in a 0 for 16 hole at the plate. Give her a shovel because she's digging out. Home run number 12. Cats up 6-2. Devin Nets had just this one strikeout, but she made big pitches all day. Here's one, a ground out with the tying run at the plate in the fifth. And then Devin facing the bases loaded with one out in the sixth. Meet your best friend. A one, two, three, double play. And again in the seventh, tying run on Nets closes the door. 6-3 the final. Cats win the series and the good feelings are back at Hill and Brand Stadium. The dugout was so fun. The vibes, the vibes have been here the whole season for our team. Like we've just been, we've been enjoying each other. And I think that that the past two days we were just kind of like, you know what, let's just have a good time. They believe wholeheartedly in each other and this team. And I think that's the biggest thing is they've stayed just so close and they've kept their circle tight. So what was the celebration like last night? Oh, it was so fun. We were dancing and having fun. We've been waiting for this moment. We're all here for each other. Like no one doubts each other. We all know what we can do. And I think that's what just has kept us pushing through the year. We were rowdy, but we were bought in genuinely. It wasn't like we didn't feel like we had to fake it. Nothing was fake. We were just, we were excited to play, wanted to compete, tired of losing and want to win. So that was, that was how we were this weekend. All right, we're going to get much more into this game. News for Tucson Sports Sunday at 10. You will hear from Wildcats beat reporter Tim Doss of an AZ Desert Swarm. Meanwhile, Arizona baseball trying to avoid a sweep against the same Beavers, though up in Corvallis. Chip Hale's crew clinging to very slim NCAA tournament hopes. Cats right fielder Emilio Corona had himself a day. He'd already hit one home run in the second when he did it again in the third. Arizona sprinted out to a 7-2 lead, but the Beavers took an 8-7 advantage in the eighth, and that was when Corona did it again. Good night, Irene. Home run number three for Emilio Corona. Give that man a wet nap because he's got eight ribs. Cats back on top, 10-8. Are they going to win in Corvallis? Yeah, no. Garrett Forrester, first offering. Opposite way, let's go home. Garrett Forrester walks it off in the bottom of the ninth, and the Beavs break out the broomsticks. A crushing weekend in Corvallis to any chance Arizona had of going to the NCAA tournament.